to Let's Taco About It. Um, let me switch my, I just switched my microphone. Hopefully you can hear me a little better now. <laughs> I realized my wrong microphone was uh, selected. Well, welcome to Let's Talk About It. And we're going to get to our special guest here in just a second. I just want to do a little, um, some housekeeping announcements. Um, as a reminder, there will be an in the feed drawing tonight. So <clears throat> someone will win $10 off the next order. And all you have to do is like this um, live and comment. So just comment. Could be anything. Could be hi. Hi, Deb. And um, but that's the way to get entered. You got to comment. So you got to tell us you're here and you will be entered. And let's see. As a reminder, I do have a beginner class going on in two days. So January, Thursday, January 26th, um, you can bring a friend who is interested in scrapbooking. Maybe they've told you. Um, this is a paper class. Um, I'll do a digital one as well in the near future. And I will also try um, to schedule a beginner class on a Saturday morning Sometimes it's hard to get out on a week night. Um, and since it is in person, um, hello, everyone hopping in the chat. So if you've got a friend, maybe a neighbor, um, a niece, a, a friend's a friend, a, you know, who just had a grandbaby, whatever it might be, um, hop on over to my website, DaytonaAreaScrapbooking.com. And you can register for the beginner class. Now, you do have to RSVP through my website um, in order to attend. It's free and you will um, you'll leave with a page. And it won't have a strip and a triangle <laughs> <clears throat> like back in the old days. Now, here's a quick update for um, in case you missed the post that... Um, we raised uh, t over $2,500 on uh, Saturday for our local veterans. So you guys are awesome. Once again, um, always exceed what I, you know, I think is possible. And I don't know why um, it surprises me anymore. You guys are awesome. And what a blessing that will be. So um, I will be delivering the check to them this week. And last year we raised 2,100. So that's an increase. And the year before that, it was 850. So we really um, are just getting up there. So, and I don't have a slide for that, but save the date for May 12th and 13th. And that will be the Go Gray in May crop where we will re be raising money for um, the Cannonballs for Cane Foundation in uh, Brain Cancer Awareness Month. All right. Um, I have mentioned the last couple weeks that I am doing coffee t dates in person and online just to hear about the CM advisor opportunity. So whether you're looking for a side hustle or you're looking to, um, you know, maybe you're your own best customer, but um, if you just want to just ask me about it, I've been doing this since July 2000. I love what I do, and that's mainly because of you all. Um, but it has allowed me to keep up with my busy family um, and have a flexible schedule. So like I said, if you're just looking for a side gig or maybe you're retired and you have a bunch of scrappy friends um, who would like to purchase from you, you can meet with me. You can get this special woven scallop border maker cartridge, which is not for sale on the website for just $9.75 um, just by meeting with me and getting information. Uh, finally, the cards. The cards we'll be making next Tuesday night. <laughs> there they are in all their glory. I hope you think they're beautiful because I definitely had a, there was, it was, it was rough, but I really wanted to use the new brocade, um, mask and the brocade. And I used, um, several punches that I was really excited to use. And I just love the colors for January. So if you're part of the subscription, 
you'll automatically get these cards and the subscription is $25 and you can sign up for that at DaytonaAreaScrapbooking.com. And if you're not on subscription, you can just get this one off kit and it'll be $30, um, both the subscription and the one off um, include shipping. So free shipping. So you'll see this year, sometimes the subscription will include a free gift. Um, and sometimes the people not on subscription will pay a little more. So there isn't um, a free gift this time with the subscription. So um, to reward those of you on subscription, the ones that purchase the one-offs will pay a little more. Um, there is a God Moments book study starting February 13th. So there are four people signed up for that already. And um, we will go through the book. Um, it's been a really important book in my life, so much so that I have a tattoo to remind me of the five different types of God moments. And we, you will make, um, you will document at least five God moments through the course of the study, one of each of the types of God moments. So it's going to, it, I haven't done it in five years and there have been requests for it. And so it's coming back and hopefully this year. So basically this runs from Valentine's day to the Monday before Easter and it's 12 one hour sessions. They'll be recorded. So if you miss one, no big deal, but you, um, it'll definitely change your life or the way you look at it for sure. All right. And, um, I was going to put a big sold out across this now. Um, but I, I didn't. So, this is your last reminder and emails will be going out and invoices for those of you signed up. I'm so excited. This will be my 60th retreat. It's going to be a wild and groovy time. And so this is the last call. So get on there tonight. Um, if you are planning to attend and we're going to have an awesome time as we always do. Okay, and then last reminder, even though it's scrolling across the bottom, just say hi and comment to be entered in the in the feed drawing. All right, so that brings us to the main event, which is my guest. And many of you on here know her, love her as I do. She was at... Um, our Jumpstart January this weekend. She was at our retreat in Mount Dora a couple weeks ago. So let's give a warm welcome to our friend, Casey Brown. <laughs> welcome. Hello. I'm so excited everyone's here. <laughs> can you see all the comments? I can. Okay, good. So <laughs> all right. So, um, I've got some questions for Casey. And as I have said, as I promoted this event, and as we did last year, this is your opportunity to, um, I'm chatting with your scrappy friends and they are telling us how they um, complete, how busy people like all of you watching complete um, scrapbook albums. So, First off, as I said, how busy people complete scrapbook albums. Are you busy, Casey? How do you spend your days? Are you eating bonbons floating in the pool? Totally. <laughs> um, no. So um, I'm an IT director at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University um, here locally. Um, a, probably a team of about 15 people. Um, I am very fortunate to have moved home uh, from the pandemic and have been able to stay remote in this thing of an office behind me that is craft room slash, you know, hide Christmas presents slash um, my office, but I love it in here and um, it works for me. Um, but I have two kids. Uh, husband and two kids. Uh, my son is 19 and plays college baseball at North Carolina A&T in Greensboro, North Carolina. And my daughter is a senior in high school. She's on her high school cheer team and also a competitive cheer team. So we do a lot of traveling for that. And we are looking for colleges for her right now. 
Is she planning a cheer in college? She's hoping to. Awesome. In fact, Casey at the Mount Dora retreat had to leave. <laughs> for a cheer competition. <laughs> to go to a cheer competition and then come back. So we do what we have to. <laughs> yeah. So right now, of course, uh, your daughter drives herself. So you don't have to run her around. But you, like me, you're still out there running around after them even though you're not delivering them to these locations you're still biggest fan up to north carolina and all around for baseball games and all around <laughs> florida for absolutely we uh, for our cheer calendars we actually get them for the full year so that's great because i can plug everything in and then as soon as the baseball schedule is published, typically right at the end of December or 1st of January, um, that's when I start plugging in any other open weekends that we can go up and watch him. Awesome. So you're on the road a lot, even though you're in your home working, <laughs> you're still on the road a lot. And so now we want to know when did you start taking photos and scrapbooking was it something you did as a kid not really taking photos so my mom always had albums she had the magnetic albums i've inherited them at some point in time i will have to redo them um but we always enjoyed looking through those so i think it just kind of i i grew up with it um even though there was no no formal process um i started scrapbooking for craig's brother actually um he's about 10 years younger than us so as we were getting married he was still in high school and playing football and back in the day when they published things in the newspaper um i basically scrapbooked his entire football career from 11th grade till through college um cutting out newspaper articles and all of that stuff for him. Um, and then it just translated over when we had kids, then that's when I really got on to taking our own pictures more than, you know, I had in the past um, and really started, you know, wanting to make sure I chronicle those things for my kids. That's awesome. Now, do you have a favorite well so you've kind of my next question was going to be over the years um who have been the subject so you just said your brother-in-law now your kids um do you have a favorite scrapbook um that you've made <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one is probably canyon's baseball album that was like a labor of love for a couple years um it was my and he graduated high school in 2021 and it was my intent to have it finished then that one um i went back and forth a couple times whether it was going to be digital or traditional i stuck with traditional because all of his little stuff from t-ball and pitching machine and all of that where you get the team pictures like i had all of that and um it was just going to be easier to do it traditional. So um, I basically did all the way from him playing t-ball to him signing to play in college. Um, awesome. Finally finished it at one of the retreats last year. And does he love it too? It's right here behind me. <laughs> but he's seen it. I mean, I know you're not ready to part with it yet. No, there are... Um, as I was creating it, I was sending him pictures. So I would be at a retreat and I, you know, I take a picture. I was like, oh, look at this. He's like, where are all these pictures? <laughs> like, well, they've been on my computer. <laughs> He's like, why didn't you ever share them with me? I was like, well, I, I am now. Because <laughs> you don't stay still long enough. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, and I've seen you through the years, too create certificates for teams and albums for different teams that he's been on so and that's what i that's how i got i i might be going off 
off the rails here a little bit, but that's how I got started into digital was the gift component of it. So I was originally traditional. I work on a computer all day long and I dug my heels in as long as I could and I'm not going digital. And then I made a digital yearbook for his baseball teams and I made a digital album for my sister's wedding and I made a digital album for Craig's brother's wedding. And those were easy to duplicate, right? Um, or with the yearbook, I could order 15 of them, you know, make it once and order 15 of them for the team. Um, so that's how I got into digital. And then, um, you know, I finally just caved. Um, it was, it was just so much faster for me. <laughs> to get yes, because you live on a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I know that as a fellow by by scrap by scrapsual scrapbooker, um, you still you know make cards and you know you still know how to use a um, a corner rounder. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh, we we never forget our paper roots. Um, so so what? Um, let me see. So your preferred method now is digital. Um, what's happened recently that's gotten you excited? Okay. So <laughs> I went back to artisan. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, most of you, most of you know, back in the day, creative memories, like I, I had it then. Um, and I'm not going to get all the names, right. We're going to leave, leave it to the <laughs> expert for that, but I had it then and used it for all of these gifts that I'm talking about, the wedding albums, the yearbooks, all of that. Um, I the dark years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then we went into the dark years. Um, I gave heritage makers a noble try. I published a couple albums with it. Um, but there were things more than albums that I missed about artisan. And it was, creating, you know, printable things, um, invites, um, printing just page prints to, you know, make get make quick little gifts and things like that. Um, so finally, I, I talked to Tara last year, and I was, you know, is this going to stick around? Because I'm going to need it to stick around if I switch again. <laughs> and so basically, I switched and within I, I switched probably last year, about, about, um, April or so. And in May, like I shot out my first little coach gift for end of year cheer stuff. Um, and I texted Tara, I was like, Oh my gosh, I've already, like, I'm already in love again. It, it's so <laughs> nice to have it back. And I can, I can build this stuff on the fly. Um, you know, we don't always plan ahead enough to get things in the mail. Um, yes. so sometimes we need to create it on the fly and order it at Walgreens and pick it up in the morning. Um, so anyway, I'm, or create I'm a poster and pick it up in the middle of a crop for <laughs> Walgreens. <laughs> so created at one I, in the morning. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> so I have fallen in love with Artisan again. And so now I have, I'm building a new album in there. I'm about halfway through with it. Um, and I'm just, I'm excited. Yeah. And I love getting those texts, by the way, <laughs> instead of frustrated texts. I love getting from, all, from any of you, whether it be, I love my corner rounder. I love this punch. I love, you know, artisan, whatever, whatever it is, I get excited when you all get excited. <laughs> and <laughs> I've been using artisan so long since way back, like you, when it was uh, um, storybook creator that, um, you know, I can pretty much answer a question, even if I'm in line at the grocery store, like, Oh, click this button, click that button. Um, but I just love when you guys, um, are super excited about something, anything, <laughs> the gradient button, whatever, whatever is, is thing you've discovered that you're excited about. Um, do you watch my Techie Tuesdays? I do. Um, <laughs> I don't 
all, I, I can't always watch them live. Um, but I love that they're posted to YouTube because then I go back and watch them or just listen to them. You know, sometimes I even listen to them if I'm, you know, working or, or doing something. Um, it's kind of the same thing with the card class. There's a lot of times I don't get, I love being in the card class live because I can comment and, and, and interact with everybody. Um, but I like that it's on YouTube for me to catch up when it's, when I can. Good. Well, that's awesome. I, I, I'm hoping that those will become more and more as I continue to add to them a little resource library. Not that I mind answering questions about how to do stuff when I'm in line at, at the grocery store, but <laughs> usually if one of you has a question, several of you do. So, um, so how do the, uh, everyone wants to know, how do you fit scrapbooking into your crazy life? Um, well, it, it's gotten better, as you mentioned, um, since the kids all drive themselves places. So that helped. But um, again, we, we live by the calendar. So I, you know, we have, we have the cheer comps planned, we have, you know, the baseball tournaments planned, all of that stuff. And then basically, the first thing I do when Tara publishes something is I try to align it to a you know, is it an open weekend or is it a kind of open weekend? <laughs> um, so if, if that thing on my weekend might be fluid, um, I'll go ahead and plug it in the calendar and just put TBD. Um, and then as it gets closer, I can make a decision. Um, but that's really how I do it. I also have, a you know, a great little group that, you know, helps from retreats and sharing rooms and day crops and all that stuff. And, you know, when your calendar comes out, that's kind of the first thing that happens. It's like, are you going to that one? Are you going to that one? Are you going to that one? And we can, you know, look at our calendars and, and team up and share rooms and all of that stuff. So it's, it's fun to know that your friends are going to be there as well. So, yeah. So I, and it, I, when people say, I just, you know, I'm too busy. Um, it, I really like, I say, I, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it either if I didn't dedicate the time. So, I mean, I feel like that's what I hear you say. <laughs> you got to get away. <laughs> And, and there was a period of time. I mean, if we went back through my attendance history, right, there were, there's gaps where, you know, maybe I could only make one thing a year. Um, and so, like I said, now I'm coming out of that a little bit with, you know, one kid away and one kid driving that I'm, I'm getting to take more time for myself and, and make this more of a priority. You know, my goal, like my, my goal in life is to be at everything. Like <laughs> when it happens, like that's my goal. Oh, that's um, awesome. So. <laughs> and you've brought Craig, you brought your husband before on a retreat for your anniversary weekend. <laughs> And like I already said, you, you've brought a, um, you've gone to a cheer competition at it. So when she says she tries to make it work, she does. <laughs> this, is, this is my therapy on multiple levels. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. Um, my, the shirt that I'm making for uh, so many people this week is uh, the one that says, I get by with a little help from my scrappy friends. And um, I think. I, I made that, I, that shirt, oh, I don't know, 2021, you know, as we were coming out of COVID and, um, people have continued to add it to their wardrobe. I think I'm making 11 of them this week. <laughs> so, because it does, it, it, it does ring true. Um, but, um, well, and I, I don't think I mentioned that Casey's first retreat was in 2012. So, in September 2012, so just about 10 years ago. Of course, I met her before then when I was doing a make and take at a crop that I wasn't running. That was when I um, first met her. And 
connect she connected with some of the day crops so we we did a deep dive at the last retreat <laughs> on yeah. on dates and um and when everyone um and of course i have a giant excel spreadsheet um, for all that <laughs> so um all right so one last question and that would be do you have a tip that you can share with busy ladies watching um, tonight? I would say just start somewhere. Um, so, you know, I'm working on 2020 right now. That does not in any way mean <laughs> that I am caught up until 2020. Um, it's just, where I had kind of the most complete digital repository. Um, and, and so I, it's a work in progress. Um, I, you know, I really spent last weekend um, at Jumpstart January organizing the second half of 2020 so that I can be prepared in March. Um, so it's really just about planning and, um, Tara has a saying that I 1000% get behind, but um, done is better than perfect. Um, my pages, even in the traditional space, um, it, in the digital space, my pages aren't super elaborate. Um, that's just me. I'm kind of basic. Um, I like a lot of pictures. Um, I love looking at everybody else's creativity, which is why I love all the day crops and stuff, but I, I just, I don't, I can't do it. I need the pictures there um, and the story. That's just my, the way I do it. Um, and I'm just continually learning um, how to keep getting better and, and, and keep the train on the rails. <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. And I think I've talked about that. Um, it's come up before in other let's talk about it. It's about just kind of, sometimes you have to start where you're at. Like you said, you're, you're working in, in 2020 right now. And I've, I've done the same thing over, over the years, um, in my family album, that's sort of, um, chronological. I'm way back in 2013, but I've also done, you know, 2017 <laughs> randomly. Right. It was when April went off to college and I just, or 2018, I guess. Um, and I just felt like, you know, cause I missed her <laughs> that I wanted to be, be scrapbooking um, more current pictures than, than the older ones. So I think that's, you know, that that's great advice to kind of start with something you're excited about. Like sometimes going back to the beginning is not exciting or it's just overwhelming. I hear a lot of people say like, oh, you know, they want to start their wedding and they've been married for 15 years and the pictures and they don't they don't know what to do with them. And do they, you know, do they want paper? Do they want digital? It's it's really hard. So it is sometimes fun to start with like a trip or, mm -hmm. you know, a season of baseball or a season of cheerleading <laughs> that you can kind of get, um, get in there and, and then get back because it's kind of fun, especially with the digital, right? I mean, I don't know if you feel this way too, with those smaller projects, you work on it, you order it, you get it back. Um, but some of the bigger ones that maybe take, you know, just like a traditional album takes a long time to make. But the difference is in the meantime, while we're making it, the digital are trapped in the computer. Mm -hmm. It's not like you can like come home and be like, I did these 10 pages. So <laughs> I do like that though. <laughs> <laughs> but it, when they're on the computer, you'd be like, these are the 10 pages I did. Yep. But it, Sometimes you have to wait, you know, and then when you get that printed book back to be able to sit down and look at it. In my case, find my spelling mistakes. <laughs> I'm like, how did I not see that? 
but and that's again, where I say done is better than perfect. <laughs> exactly. That's where you have to, because the th same thing, that's my biggest fear is I, I'm like, oh my gosh, is there something that I've forgotten? And, you know, I was like, I don't want to order this. I'm like, oh, I missed a whole two page spread somewhere in the middle. So you have to kind of overcome that fear with the digital. Um, but yeah, I mean, if they're spelling errors, they're spelling errors. Yeah. And I, I think that's what I always said. If there's one thing my kids will know about me, it's that I was terrible <laughs> or a terrible proofreader. <laughs> <laughs> um you know but there's all you know we all miss things your brain skips over things but um i see um does anyone in the chat um have any questions for casey people are saying that yeah uh, jen said that she uh flips everyone's saying they flip through their pages um there, there you go, Katie. She's, <laughs> you're right. Miss Bella paper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the 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 misspelling in, increases as far as wine consumption. It does happen. Yeah. Or <laughs> try not to journal. <laughs> um, who's your favorite scrapbook friend? <laughs> No, oh, well, I think Jen's watching and Wanda's not. So we're going to go with Jen. <laughs> no. Um, and it's, Lynn been, it's been really cool for that, for that little group of us, right? We're not, you know, we started out a little bigger, but there's three of us diehards that are left and like one's in St. Augustine, one's in Daytona, one's in Sanford. So it's, this is the only way we see each other. Um, so it's, like I said, it's my therapy in more ways than one, but, um, you know, I get some girl time, I get some me time and I get to be productive as well. Hey, that's a win, win, win. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what Sharpie said for. Yeah. Now Linda wants to know what you prefer to do. Like you're faster at digital, if you're doing multiple digital, but do you prefer digital over paper? I've I've grown to the point that I prefer digital over paper. Yeah. Yeah. I I also find myself as much as I love paper, and of course, those of you watching know that I do tool time and project recipe, and I still make paper stuff, and I love playing with the paper tools. But I have to admit. When I'm sitting down, if I make myself do something in paper without a plan, that's why I love project recipes. I find myself thinking, oh, if I were on the computer, I'd use this font. If I was, I'd make it this big. <laughs> there is something to be said about the digital being able to make a photo any size you want instead of printing everything four by six, which is what I do with a paper. So, mm -hmm. um, yes. Um, <laughs> yes that's that's so cool Jen um yes there's a lot of chatting and sharing that's one of the best parts about retreats <laughs> Can I, keep track there I, I, I meta, metadata <laughs> well and so so in all fairness Jen, that's why I'm really like, that's why I'm starting to move to historian. So um, I'm, I, I jumped on the historian bandwagon. Also, um, I appreciated the, the tech tip Tuesday that I had to watch on YouTube. Um, to try and because otherwise I just had everything sliced and it was up to my memory to make sure I was kind of slicing it correctly. And um, so that doesn't work very well anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping, you know, as I learn more about historian and I can organize in there and tag in there better, um, I cannot mess it up. But I mean, I've been known to say, oh, well, this is your, you know, 
this is X, Y, and Z tournament, but it really wasn't. It was another tournament and done is better than perfect. <laughs> yes. Nobody, nobody's going to question it when I'm <laughs> gone. No, they're not. Well, <laughs> somebody might, he might fight with you about it, but I um, love that is, I mean, because for me, it's swim meets, it's track meets and um, historian, definitely my favorite way to organize because it's all by metadata. So as long as you're, you know, you're the date and time are right on your camera or your phone, you're good to go because then everything pops in there together and you can tag the whole block, you know, one thing. And so when I move through, you know, the albums to work on it, I can, I can see everything all together. And even, you know, if somebody else shares something from their phone, again, as long as their phone um, is, has the same date, correct date and time or their camera, you know, um, then, uh, then you're, then you're good to go. <laughs> oh, Kim. Uh, that's okay. terrible. <laughs> but hey, I did you reorder? Or did you just go with it? I hope you went with it. I did that that album that I did in two thousand for two thousand eighteen has the wrong year on it. I think it says like twenty twenty one or something. <laughs> uh, um, Jen, no historian is well. I'm gonna let Tara explain that. Oh. So they're made, they're both made by forever, sold by forever. Um, and, but historian is where you organize and edit your photos. And there are, um, you can edit photos in Artisan, um, to some, but you can't organize your whole library. And because they're both sold by forever, you can organize everything in, in historian and then you can share it over to your project that you have open in Artisan. So they definitely work together. They're both PC based um, and they, they work hand in hand together. If you're looking for something for just editing in your digital scrapbooking, you could just use Artisan if you organize some other way. But um, one of the things, features I love about Historian is a shadow copy. So you can choose a file um, where when you shut down Historian, it just automatically backs up to a shadow copy. So, and my last uh, Techie Tuesday, which was just last Tuesday, um, was all on organizing in Historian. So if that's something that any of you are interested in, you should definitely go watch um, watch that one because it is, um, it will answer, um, you know, a bunch of your questions for sure. Um, oh, that's funny, Kim. <laughs> Remind me to tell you the story. My dad put the wrong date on my grandmother's tombstone. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the, um, the, the, when they, when he, they were like, what are our options? Can we fix it? And she was, she was alive. It wasn't supposed to have the end date. It was when my grandfather, um, Pat was interned and they just put her name and her birth date. Well, he put the birth date the wrong year. And when my grandmother, I said, remind me, and now I'm telling you the story. Well, my grandmother went to the cemetery to see my grandfather's tombstone. Um, she said, well, your your father's looks good, but I don't know who that woman is buried next to him. <laughs> because, uh, because he put the wrong year of her birth. He made her he made her a year older. Um, but anyway, and and then at that time, and now I I say all the time, the um the guy who made the gravestone <laughs> said, Well, we can change it. And he's like, but you know, or you can keep the story. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it is in Connecticut. It's wrong still. We they kept this they decided to keep the story. So you know what, Kim? I hope you kept the story of your misspelled February. And for everyone watching, just keep those misspellings. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um someday they'll be you know, spell check on paper, but right now it's all right. And hey, even when we're doing digital, there's spell check and I still miss things. 
Well, if no one else has any more questions for Casey, I think it's time, Casey, we can give some, we can give a gift certificate away. And if somebody is digital or they're thinking about going digital, I can um, give it, I can give it to you in forever. Um, so you can use it toward the purchase of historian or digital content or artisan. Um, if you're still using Heritage Makers, I can give it to you in Heritage Makers points. And, um, or I can give it to you in Creative Memories. So, yes, everyone's saying thank you. Yes, thank you, Casey, for being on here tonight. And I'll keep you on. I think you can stay on for the, to cheer up for the winner. I think it'll put us both on the side. Let's see. Yeah, you're still there. All right, so let's see who our lucky winner is. Kim, congratulations, Kim. Yay. So you can tell me, Kim, how you would like your, your um, how you would like your, your $10. <laughs> and I guess that's yeah. all for tonight, my scrappy friends. Thank you so much for watching from Florida and points beyond. Lynn <laughs> up in Maryland joined us tonight and, um, and we've got people from all over Florida. You can still uh, share this if you'd like um, your friends to get excited about scrapbooking or digital or coming to retreats. And I guess that's all from Casey and I tonight. And until thank we you, Tara. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. And until we see you again, tell them what to do, Casey. Stay scrappy. That's right. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night.